With Overdrive, you can set up a great looking site in minutes using content from Google Drive. Today, I'm going to create an extranet site for my company, Sanford. We're an office furniture company and need to make our product and marketing information available to our distributors and all without them having to know anything about Google Drive or having a Google account. Overdrive sites are built from Google Drive folders. And for this site, I'm going to start with this area, which contains the folders I want to share. The files folder has subfolders and a variety of file types, as you can see here. And in brochures, there's a Google doc for each product in the range. Once I've connected Overdrive to Drive, I can use this menu to both create new sites and jump across to existing sites. Okay, so I'm going to sign in using my Google account, but in a minute, I'll configure the site to allow my users to sign in using other methods. This interactive tool is great for finding your way around Overdrive for when you come to build your own site, but I'll close it down for now. So as you can see, my site has automatically been created using the content in Google Drive. Notice how all of the folders from Drive are now pages in the menus, and they'll stay in sync if I make changes in here or in Drive. And the contents of the folders has also been brought across too. So now my distributors have friendly, easy access to the same files and folders we use internally. So the brochures folder needs to look way better. I'm going to use the page builder over here on the pencil icon to turn the folder tile into a block. Each brochure now shows with a thumbnail image extracted from the doc and the first few sentences of text. So my colleagues can create new brochures in Drive or right here. And they can also edit them in Drive or right here too. Okay, so my site design is looking a bit basic. I'm going to use Template Designer to pick a template that better suits my corporate colors. These advanced settings give me lots more control over the design and layout if I want to go further. And now I'm going to find my company logo. While I'm in site settings, I'm going to switch to the security tab. I can invite users individually, but I can also allow anyone from a specific domain to log in. So I'm going to paste in a list of domains belonging to the stakeholders that I want to access the site. And now I'm going to choose the methods that they can use to sign in. And while I'm here, I'll set up some groups that will allow me to restrict certain pages to the members of those groups. And finally, I'll set the welcome message that they'll see before they sign in. Now let's work on the home page, which is always an important page for any site. I'm going to use the same welcome text for after they've signed in. The assets folder is where I'm going to keep logos and other files needed for the site. And I don't need it to appear in the menus, so I'll switch it off like this. And now I'm going to use the page builder again to replace the folder tile with some more interesting content. I'm going to start with an image box and pick something inspirational to brighten things up. Okay, now as I move down the other tile categories, from Google Drive, you'll see I can add folders and files from my Drive and Share Drives, as well as content from other G Suite apps, including Calendar. And I'm just going to configure this to show my marketing calendar, which contains important dates my distributors need to know about, and contacts, maps, photos, and Google Groups. 
From social networks, I'm going to add our Twitter tile, Overdrive IO. Overdrive is also integrated with other cloud apps, such as Microsoft OneDrive and Smartsheet, and has a variety of other tiles to aid productivity, such as workflow and collaboration, such as this discussion tile. Okay, so now let's log out and take a fresh look. There are the login methods I chose, including email and password with automatic registration. And here is the homepage that my stakeholders will see when they sign in. And there we have it, a great looking site in around five minutes that will form the basis of my new G Suite powered extranet. Get started at overdrive.io today.